nearly losing control as they touch Fender. Roberts is setting a pace that's just too fast for most cars. Look out! That Pontiac qualified at 127 miles an hour, and Ralph Earnhardt proves that it can run almost as fast backwards. The yellow caution signal slows traffic. Earnhardt's not hurt. If that car will still run, he'll make it back to the pit and out of the race. Bobby Johns hangs on Robert Spender, then makes another bid. He's passing. As his dad watches, Bobby Johns grabs the lead. Joe Weatherly and Dave Pearson tangle on the first turn. Spinning wildly, they barely miss other traffic. Both cars can still race, but little Joe, who'd been running fifth, is an angry man. Bobby Johns roars down the back stretch and runs into trouble. Two cars spin. Jim Pascal in number 42 is hit, trying to avoid the tangle. And there's Bobby Johns. Johns is slammed into the infield as Darrell Derringer's car catches fire. Pascal, his car badly battered, is able to continue under his own power. Bobby Johns, the leader, can barely steer his car off the track and out of the race. The fire in Derringer's car is quickly controlled. One of the first to spin, Derringer was hit by both Pascal and John. Johnson's in trouble. <laughs> Junior handles it beautifully. Then when he's got his car pointed right, puts his elbow on the window ledge and calm as a Sunday driver brings it to the pit. Johnson's on his way, a lap behind the leader, but he can still make a race of it. Johnson roars out of the pits as the leaders sweep into the first turn. Look out! A car is into the wall! It's Johnny Allen, Pontiac number 46. The driver is hanging upside down, held by his seatbelt and shoulder harness. suddenly found the track slick as ice when a car ahead of him spilled oil from a damaged engine. After he flipped, he said he kept his harness buckled, afraid that the other cars might hit him. But once he saw the flames, he moved out of there fast. The car is completely gutted, but Alan isn't even scratched. is cleared and the green flag sends them back to high speed, 